Disclaimer. The purpose of this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All outside clips are used for commentary purposes and fall under Section 107 of the Copyright Act, Fair Use. Do not search out and harass or bully any individual shown in this video. All statements made are alleged and should not be taken as fact. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia. I'm the artist behind Crystal Sky Art. And if you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Thank you for returning to my channel to watch another video. In today's video, we are going to look at some reels from Instagram that are posted by MLM Hunts. And of course, as usual, most of them have to have the sound removed for copyright purposes, but I did keep the sound in where I was able to. This first video is from the same guy who did the debunking the thieves cleaner back a few months ago. This time he is looking at Norwex cloths and seeing if they actually do work. Do Norwex microfibers actually kill bacteria? I started by swabbing some raw chicken around in my work area. I took a swab of this so you could get an idea of how much bacteria was on my desk from the chicken. I took the damp Norwex cloth and then cleaned the area. I let it sit overnight for about 24 hours and then I took a few drops and put it on the second plate here. All right, and here are the results. Plate number one is a swab of the chicken covered table. Plate number two is a drop of water from the Norwex cloth. Plate number three is a drop of tap water from the sink so you can compare the results. It doesn't appear that Norwex microfibers kill bacteria. Some confusion may arise from the company's use of the phrase self-cleansing. I wanted to include this here as an example of misrepresentation by the companies. As when you look through the Norwex benefits, it says it has the ability to remove 99% of bacteria from a surface when following proper care and use instructions. And that all you need is to use a damp cloth for general cleaning and heavily soiled areas as it picks up everything using the water. And it has backlock in the cloth, which is an exclusive micro silver antibacterial agent that goes to work to self purify and inhibit odors from bacteria, mold, and mildew growth within the cloth within 24 hours so that it's ready to use again. And as you saw here, this guy went and he tested it, like he put the chicken on the table, wiped it with the damp cloth and let the cloth sit for 24 hours. He then squeezed the a couple drops of the water in the cloth into the Petri dish from one of the samples. And it actually had more bacteria on it than the table had from the chicken itself. So this microbiology test actually goes to show that the backlog that they use on these to inhibit the, to self purify and inhibit odors within the cloth so that they're ready to clean again within 24 hours actually doesn't do anything. And if you go and you clean up something with a lot of bacteria in it and let the cloth sit for 24 hours, you're actually just going to be causing more bacterial growth on any further surfaces in the home, as is very evident by that second Petri dish, which is the middle one that has way more bacteria on it than the initial one did. So please, whatever you do, do not trust that these are actually going to self-clean because this test shows that they really don't. Be safe and clean stuff properly, <laughs> please. So here's a Monet one. Double take, two for $20. And uh, it says, when a flash sale is so good, spend $70, get two for 20, save up to 75% off. And really, it says if you spend $70, when you look at a lot of stuff, like even their Rejuvenique oil, I think it was, is like a hundred and some odd dollars or around a hundred dollars. So that's your s spend 70 and then you get two for 20 and it's probably going to be just their lowest price options that they're going to let you get that with, so... Not worth it. That's not that great of a flash sale, in my opinion. Because you have to know they're not going to let you get two $100 items for $20 after you spend 70 The song playing here just has the, are you ready for it in it, as that's her focus. As she says, are you ready for it? Rejuvenique oil. As she puts some of the oil in her hair and then says that this is magical. I can't go anywhere without it. 
I don't know about you guys, but to me it looks like she just ran a damp brush through her hair. Nothing special. At least nothing that would classify a really expensive hair oil as magical anyways. I'm not a salesperson. I don't want to be that girl. I don't have a big social media following. I don't have the money or I don't have enough time. Your excuse is someone else's reason. And she just shrugs. The excuses as she refers to them are perfectly valid reasons to not join an MLM. The next couple are from a lady who is in Ruby Ribbon and they're a little bit cringe. Just chillaxing here with my Ruby Ribbon Allure lingerie. Yes, I'm wearing it with just a jacket over it. You want to how you can get yours? Reach out. I'll let you know how. I don't know about you guys, but this really doesn't seem like an ideal way to try and sell lingerie. Especially since she doesn't even so much as show a picture of it, so nobody has any idea what they would be getting just from her video here alone. What's hot, ladies? We're, we're launching a new product line called Siren. Yeah, and it's hot. You want to find out more? Reach out. I'd be more than happy to give you the link. It's a public launch through Eventbrite. Reach out and I will give you the link. It's gonna be a hot one, ladies. Yeah, this lady, you'll see her in a lot of Ruby Ribbon reels if you look up reels for them. She seems to be one of the more predominant distributors for that MLM, which is all about like shapewear and lingerie and whatnot, some activewear. They're actually a company I'm planning on doing a mini dive into and that video should actually be shorter because there's really not much on them and not a whole lot of in terms of concerns that I've seen so far other than yeah they are an MLM but her videos are in my opinion a little bit odd but that's not saying anything about her. Who knows where these ideas came from it's just yeah they they seem like an unusual way to try and sell lingerie. It doesn't seem like it would work that well. This next reel is one where this lady is giving tips on how to increase your engagement for network marketing. What's something everybody likes to talk about? Yes, their coffee! Now this isn't coffee, but it's Starbucks. Ask things like, Where's your favorite coffee shop? What do you like in your coffee? Do you like it hot or cold? Asking questions about beverages will get you lots of engagement. And she really has a lot of tags that she used in this, which is this is how you know that it's MLM related. Tell me your favorite coffee place. Asking questions about coffee can give you a huge boost in your algorithms. Try some of these. Question queen, question queen tips, direct sales, paparazzi accessories, algorithm, uh, name, work smart, boss babe, work from home, pampered chef, working mom, social media, self-employed, Norwax, doTERRA, 31 gifts, Avon, unique, Ruby Ribbon, Starbucks, coffee, coffee lover, engagement question. As you can see, she's taking a lot of MLMs in there. So, she, so I'm guessing she's probably one of those trainers who trains the MLM hunts on how to increase their social media presence and engagement to try and get more sales and recruits. Next up, we have a Senegents or Lip Sense Hun showing us how to use their liquid lipstick. One of the main things you'll notice here is just the sheer amount of the lipstick that they need. I've seen prices of this on local Facebook Marketplace and they want like $27 per bottle of liquid lipstick. And there's other companies who want the same and you watch, like she needs three coats minimum and then the lip gloss. And I've even seen reels of the company themselves showing, hey, you need to put on at least three coats of this lipstick. And for really high quality liquid lipstick, you should only need one coat. I've managed to come across some Anastasia Beverly Hills over at Winners for $5 a piece instead of 27. Thankfully, fully sealed, not expired everything, so they're good. And one coat, my lips are completely covered. You can't see any of the lip underneath it. There's no patchiness or anything. And that is the exact same price point 
regularly as the lip scents ones, which need three times the amount of product. If that doesn't show you that these products are nowhere near as good as they're trying to claim, I don't know what would. Someone should actually try them side by side someday and just show like one coat of each and the difference. That would be a really good idea. And this next one is a very excited Senegence distributor. I just found out that I ranked number eight of 2,500 plus distributors in personal sales. Let's have a sale. And then she shows a whole bunch of the product. I just do, because I feel better. If I feel better, I'm nicer. If I'm nicer, my life goes better. Because if I'm nicer, then you're going to be nicer to me. And if I'm nice, everything runs smoothly. If I recall correctly, this lady is a unique distributor. It doesn't really say here, but I do believe that's where she's from. And she makes some good points where, why do I get ready most days? I get ready because I feel better. I feel better. I'm nicer. If I'm nicer, you're nicer, sort of thing. And then it's a good way to look at it. It's just... The tone in her voice is what gets me. It may just be me, I'm not sure if everyone else thinks that way, but it is what it is. Who doesn't want magic lipstick? And any liquid lipstick, really, you can do that with. It's not unique to the Lip Sense product. Any liquid lipstick I found, it's the same thing. They all stay really well and you need a makeup remover to get rid of them at the end of the day. For this one, the song in the background is that one that's like, no, no, hell no, sort of thing. These are her common misconceptions about being a distributor and this was could be any MLM. They all say the same thing. Do I have to cold message? Hell no. Do I have to keep inventory? No. Do I have to give up time with my kids? No. Do I have to know what I'm doing? No. Do I need a college degree? No. Will I have to do this alone? No. Do I have to be a dirty hippie? Hell no. Really not sure where the dirty hippie part comes in with this. I don't think I've ever heard MLM Huns referred to as dirty hippies, or that that's who they target. This is a Monet Hun trying to sell her under eye cream. Recognize the sound? It's time for under eye cream. And I don't think I could play the sound, so I'm just leaving it out, but it's like do 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 ba ba sort of thing. I know that's really bad. This is only the first of, I think there's two, maybe three, where they definitely target vulnerable groups trying to get them to join their MLM. I don't know how to sell. I have tattoos. I don't have a degree. I am in recovery. We don't judge. Drop info in the comments. Come as you are, baby. And as you can see quite clearly, she's trying to target the vulnerable groups to get them to join, or just vulnerable people in general. And what do network marketers actually do? Develop a personal brand, create social media content, invest in personal development, teach systems, empower people, build connections, exemplify, and encourage leadership. Yeah, but you're not so much developing your own personal brand, it's your own brand that is a part of whatever company it is so it's just an extension of their brand for you do create social media content a lot of copy and paste content quite often but there's still content invest in personal development is huge among some of them especially beachbody and amway you teach systems but they're systems designed to scam and manipulate people and cause a lot of people to lose a lot of money as over 90% of representatives either lose money or don't make any money at all. You empower people, not so much. You're manipulating people into thinking that they're being empowered. You build connections. Again, it's more manipulating people, getting them to join your downline. And these aren't connections that will last forever because if they leave, you're not likely to talk to them again, as that happens to a lot of people. You hear it all the time that those who they thought were friends just stopped talking to them when they left the MLM and exemplify and encourage leadership. But it's not really 
it's a, it's kind of a false leadership in a way, or at least you're not a very good leader. You're not teaching people how to do stuff on their own. You're requiring them to keep looking to you by forcing a lot of them to keep going to different meetings and Zoom calls, and if it's your own business, you shouldn't have to do that. And a lot of the leaders, like you watch some of the team calls and that, those leaders, they're not very nice people. They're not anybody I would want to have as a boss or a leader within any place I've ever worked. A good leader will teach everyone how to lead without using the tactics that they use, without the manipulation, without talking down to them without demanding that they do stuff and blaming everything on them. Like if you fail, it's because you didn't do enough. You won't see that stuff if they're a good leader. And you won't also get all the love bombing that makes you only think that they like you. And before I forget, as I just thought of it, a good leader will bring out the best in each of the people under them. People will want to show up and do well for a good leader because they know that a good leader is going to respect them and the work that they do and will encourage them to do better and to be the best that they can. So this is one of those show you and then show your effing work as she puts it and then it's Simone Han and she just shows her place and some team calls and a meal with friends with as you saw there's really nothing in there about selling the product it's other people and team calls. So all team related, suggesting it's all about building the network and not selling the products. This was just thrown in as a cute little color street Easter reel. Kind of a palette cleanser before we get to the rest. Here's a Monet curly hair product one. I do believe she was trying to go for empowering with this one. Listen, there will always be people who try and bring you down. And that because they already follow you, so you gotta keep it killing it, queen. In a world full of biatches, be a bad one. You're the biatch they wanna be. Here's a Color Street vulnerability post. Six months ago, I lost my corporate job due to the virus. I could have panicked, but instead I saw the opportunity that had been right in front of my face for two and a half years. Those pretty nails I'd been using were about to make me money, allow me to love my job, and introduce me to the best friends. I want to make sure no one waits to, as long as I did to be this happy. There is no better time than now. Another one of those ones where they're preying on the uh, vulnerable groups. And as you know, there's a lot of us that lost our jobs due to this virus when it first started out. Me being one of thousands who did. And that's what makes this one hit close to home. But the thing is, that's exactly what she's aiming for. She wants people who feel that same way to try and join her MLM. And it's not a good idea to, for anyone out there listening, don't go and join an MLM trying to find what she is claiming there isn't one. Because you'll just lose money. The friendships you make will only be temporary so long as you are of a benefit to them. Sure, you may find the odd actual friendship that last past it, but most of them, they won't. Because all you are to them is a way to increase their own income. And again, more than 90% of people in MLMs either lose money or don't make anything at all. So if you're lucky, you won't lose anything, but you're not going to make anything. So don't spend whatever little you have left to join an MLM. It's just, it's not worth it. When you feel depressed and then you do your hair and makeup, and when you look at this and it's talking about doing your hair and makeup, you wouldn't expect this to be a color street reel, would you? Other than her briefly showing her nails at the end with just a really basic nail polish strip on them. But nothing wrong with doing your hair and makeup to help you feel better when you're depressed or in general not feeling well. I just personally would have expected it to be a real for Monet or Unique or Avon or Mary Kay or something, not 
Keller Street. No words necessary. How a prospect feels when you keep bugging her to see if she wants to sign up. And the reaction that that woman gets from the girl is... Yeah, pretty much perfect. Just, what are you doing? Go away. Leave me alone. Why you should buy Color Street nails from us. All 100% nail polish. Really durable. Really good prices and deals. Super cute. Removes with nail polish remover and supporting small businesses. Well... You're not supporting a small business, you're supporting an MLM that you're a independent contractor for. Other than that, there's not a lot you can say about that, other than what you can't really see because of the pixelation is that the girl who's in this reel looks like she can't be more than 15 to 17. And you have to be at least 18 to join these companies, so chances are it's a parent getting their child involved in this, and no, don't do that, parents. Don't get your children involved in these scams. You love pizza? Your nails always perfect? Only positive vibes for you? Then we need to be friends. And you know, if you go to be friends with her, she's just gonna try and rope you into her pyramid scheme. Well, thank you to everybody who stopped by and actually stayed for this long video of Instagram MLM Reels. Hopefully you liked it. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you'd like to see in future videos, any other subreddits, anything art related, you name it, just let me know down below. Like the video as well if you liked it. It helps with the algorithm if you comment and like the videos. And if this is the type of thing that you like with different either Reddit or in this case Instagram reels and art, then possibly give the channel a subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified when future videos go live. Bye!